Hello, I'm Congressman Matt Cartwright, representing the 17th Congressional District of Pennsylvania. Over the next four weeks, we're going to be discussing the things that affect your daily lives. I'll tell you how I'm tackling some of the biggest challenges we face, and you can tell me how you think they ought to be solved. By engaging on these difficult issues together, we can work together to find solutions. This is an important weekend to me, not so much because it's Super Bowl weekend, but because it's an important milestone in American history. Today, January 31st, 2015, we mark the 75th anniversary of the first Social Security Retirement Benefit Check being delivered. On top of that, yesterday, January 30th, was the birthday of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who signed Social Security into American law. Social Security is our nation's most important and effective income security program for American workers and retirees and their families. The 2014 Trustees Report states that Social Security is well-funded and remains strong. Right now, there's $2.7 trillion in the Social Security Trust Fund. In 2013, that fund received $855 billion in income. And as currently structured, Social Security is going to be able to pay full retirement benefits through the year 2033. Now, Congress has ample time to make reasonable changes to strengthen Social Security's long-term finances. It also needs to address the issue of benefits adequacy, since a growing share of Americans depend on Social Security for all or most of their retirement income. Right now in the United States, there are 39 million retired citizens receiving Social Security retirement benefit checks. The impact of this program is immense on lifting Americans out of poverty in their senior years. As you can see from this chart, Right now, 24% of American retirees rely on Social Security for all of their income. 36% of Americans rely on Social Security for 90% or more of their income. And fully 65% of American retirees rely on Social Security as half or more of what they're living on. Right now, the average monthly retirement benefit for Social Security recipients is $1,305 a month. In our part of Pennsylvania, nearly 140,000 retirees, people with disabilities, spouses, and children, receive $1.8 billion in benefits every year. I think we need to do everything we can think of to strengthen and preserve the Social Security system. Right now in Washington, some of the things a number of us are working on are ways to improve cost of living adjustments by adopting a more accurate formula to do a better job of protecting benefits from eroding over time because of the effects of inflation. To create a benefit bump for current and new beneficiaries so that everybody will see modest increases in the short term. To give a tax break to over 10 million Social Security retirement benefit recipients by raising the threshold for taxation on benefits for individual and joint tax filers. We're working on providing protection for low-income workers by setting a new minimum benefit that will be set at 25 percent above the poverty level. These items are all in a bill called the Social Security 2100 Act, which I will be proudly supporting. I'm also going to be supporting legislation to strengthen Social Security's finances by raising or entirely eliminating the cap on Social Security payroll tax, which is currently set at $118,500 a year. This would play a central role in strengthening Social Security's finances by opposing the privatization of Social Security or any attempt to divert money out of Social Security and into private investment accounts because those accounts could lose their value or be wiped out entirely because of volatile stock market swings. And 
by rebalancing revenue between retirement and disability trust funds so as to put the entire Social Security program on an equal and sound footing. Social Security is America's insurance program. In fact, it's the insurance that you paid for. Every time you saw the initials FICA on your pay stubs, that stands for Federal Insurance Contributions Act, and that's the federal payroll tax for both employees and employers to fund Social Security and Medicare. I see it as part of our job in the Congress to keep these systems strong and to make sure you get your money's worth. But let me know what you think. Please send me a letter or post on my website or my Facebook page with the hashtag, hashtag better together. Tell me how Social Security has been crucial for you or your family and tell me what you think Congress ought to be doing to protect and preserve Social Security. Thanks for listening and I'll see you again soon.